Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dang and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your stretched out, legged out or etylated succulents right here. You can see this Echeveria ruffles. It is stretching out and it is fugly. What do we do with fugly? We cover it with freaking unicorns, okay? So, why does it stretch out like this? Well, because even though we give it very, very good light during the winter time or very, very powerful light, it is just not like the sun. So it's going to try to seek out the source of light as best as it can as you can see right here the stem ain't no bueno it is no bueno but the top here looks okay because it is not stretching out the space in between the leaves is what determines when it is stretched out usually a succulent is very small and compact there is hardly any 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 stretching sorry any space between the leaves and that means that it is getting enough sunlight if it's not it will stretch out like this so I'm gonna show you a few examples and we're gonna fix this okay let's get started Okay, so I have my examples right here. Um, this is also my Calubra, which I love, but it is stretched out as well. It is not looking fun or fabulous, and we have to fix it. You see the, the space in between it? The top looks okay, right? The top there looks okay, but the stem here is no bueno. No bueno. So we're gonna fix that. Um, and, why, and, we're, and we're gonna fix that. Not only because it's stretched out, but sometimes, as you can see here, this Perova number, it is getting too long as well and we want to fix this as well well when it gets taller and it's too the it's too heavy the stem will not be able to support that and it's just gonna fall over so we want to fix that as well too um, and not only when we want to fix that we want to also do something called bonsaiing, which the Koreans do and it is when you uh, pretty much cut off the head and let let more parts grow I'm gonna show you right here this is kind of bonsai right here. Can you see that? This still has to grow, but that's part of bonsai is when you chop off, chop it off and let the babies grow and let it just bonsai. Um, they like to do that in Korea. They like it small, compact and bonsai. -ing. Let me put this aside. Uh, what else is also bonsai? -ing? This is also kind of bonsai -ing, as here, right here, you can see. Like, oh, there's my greedy mix stuff. Bonsai right there in the bottom. Right there, that's bonsai. So that's what they like to do in Korea. Um, and also, this is a perfect example of a very beautiful, perfectly shaped, in my opinion anyways, um, perfectly shaped uh, succulent right here, you see? There's no space in between. It's very, very compact because it is getting enough, more than enough of its sunlight that it needs, it requires, okay? That's what, we're gonna, that's what we want most of the time. Okay, what else is there to tell you? Yes, so the best method to do this is called beheading, is when we take our trusty knife and just chop it off. When we behead it, we, well, we should never, or you should never actually, throw away the stem on the bottom right here. You see right here? This is the stem on the bottom. I've beheaded this a while ago, I think about three weeks ago, because it was getting dirty and it was getting really weird and it was getting like fungal on the top, so I just kind of beheaded it. And look at this, this baby is growing. It's giving me a baby, right? Especially when you're, it's a rare succulent, never throw off the stem, because the stem can give you babies as well. And especially with glibophora hybrids, which I'll talk in another video, it is impossible to propagate glibophora hybrids um, with leaf cuttings. It's just not possible. There's 1% chance of you to be able to propagate them. You'll, you can leave them on the, on the tray or whatever you want to, and they'll still grow roots, but that's the only thing it'll do. It will grow roots only. Okay, so always keep that. Okay, so let's get started with our with our stuff. We're, I'm gonna work on this because, girl, as much as I love this, this is this is fugly. This is fugly. Okay, so what we want to do is always cut. You know what? I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of people will tell you to cut one inch, one and a half inch. You know, one and a half inch uh, below the rosette up here. You can do that, or you cannot do that. You can, you can pretty much cut it right at the rosette as well because I've been ordering Korean hybrids in and they pretty much cut right at the rosette. There's no stem involved in any of the ones that, I, uh, that I've bought and it still works out perfectly fine. So with this one, I'm gonna show you. 
uh, and always cut on a 45 degrees angle or any angle at all because the thing is that when you cut it flat on when there's water it doesn't it doesn't go down right so it's sitting on top of the the the, uh, the stem and that's gonna create rot that's how we want so when we cut anything with our succulents always cut it on an angle right so that way it gives the chance that what when water hits the water just kind of flows down so let's take this this is a very very big one and usually I can actually take it all the way down there all the way down there so we're gonna take I'm gonna take it right here because I've already cut kind of cut it right there. We're gonna take it right here. Okay, we're gonna cut it right here. This is useless to me because it can only produce roots. It will never produce babies. So this is useless. Goodbye. This right here is a really nice stem, which I'm gonna keep for another video. But for us in this video, we're gonna be cutting it right about here. Right about here. Right about here. Um, and that's fine. You can cut you can cut it any shape, way, or form if you want to. I'm gonna cut it diagonally. I don't have my shears here because I don't, I forgot to get my shears. But there you go. See, not even an inch below the uh, the uh, the top here, and it still will per work perfectly fine. And the cutting is 45 degrees, or well, on an angle, on an angle. This right here can still work. Put it on the ground, it'll grow roots. Great. Um, so this part, you, when you cut it, this won't work. So you'd have to do just kind of cut that off, and that's fine. And that's it. See, a nice rosette. Let it. If you want to, you can let it callus overnight, callus over for a week. Just do not put this in sunlight. Once you put this in sunlight, direct sunlight, any type of light, anyways, um, it's gonna start using the energy from these leaves to grow. Okay, and that's not what you want. So put this aside for now. This I'm gonna put aside as well. So you can see there's there's tons of stuff right here. What you can do is you can always pluck off the majority of leaf and just leave it as bare stem cutting. Or you can always leave it with a leaf or two. Okay. I need to use this for another video, an example. So I won't be cutting using any more of this part. So I'm gonna put this aside, okay guys? Oh cut. Oh, so beautiful. I'm gonna put this aside too because I need to use that for another video. So, the Prova number is right here. We're gonna cut them too. Um, like that. I have tons of Prova number and you know, there's, there's tons of them. Prova number are really super cheap, anyways. So, um, and for me, I can just go like this watch. Ready? Let me Ha! Ha! Ah! Remember, don't throw out the stems. Don't throw out the stems like this. Just put it aside. Put it aside. Okay. Never, never throw them out because they can produce more babies for you. And you know what the funny thing is that they can actually produce babies faster than the leaf propagation. <gasps> Did you know that? Nobody told you that. Mm -hmm. They actually can produce babies much, much faster than leaf propagation. So these, we're gonna let them cows over. This right here, no bueno. Cut that off. This right here, no bueno. No bueno. There you go. That's all we need. This right here, no bueno. No bueno. We can use the uh, the leaf from the Prova number to propagate. This is very bueno right here. This one's very bueno. So we're gonna put this aside as well. Okay. My Calubra, which I love. Baby, I have to cut you up because you look fugly. You're getting fugly and I don't like that. So, we're gonna cut it right a boot here. How do you know where to cut? I, I really don't. I just cut. That's it. That's all I need from my Calubra. So beautiful. Uh, but this leaf right here is no bueno, and this is no bueno, but I'm gonna use that in the next in another video, okay? This as well. I'm just gonna leave it alone, and it's gonna give me babies That's it. Why do I not pluck off the leaf because This is a glibophora hybrid right here and this glibophora hybrid as I mentioned earlier will never give you any type of babies from the leaf so there's there's really no point 
in 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 cutting or trying to propagate it just will never and i've tried it and it just never will never okay so i'm gonna put this aside and so once once your beautiful plants has callus over like this and like this and this most of you most of the people online will tell you hey wait until a day wait until two days to put them into the soil whatever it is that they tell you to do um I've always put them right into soil right away and I've actually had never I've never had any problems with it um, rotting or dying unless I kill it you know like right now I just killed it I just, I just pretty much no 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 I didn't uh, I think I, I broke off some of the leaves but whatever uh, some people will tell you let it callus overnight which is good you know if, you, if you're if you want to be safe then put let it callus overnight or let it callus over two three days but I've never had any problems with just sticking it in. <laughs> sticking it in. Sticking it in right away. And then I just leave it on for a few days. And guess what? It's gonna root within a week or two weeks time. And voila, I have new babies. And this is this is how we do it. That's all you do really to fix adelited and stretch out plants. And then when since it's springtime, we're gonna move them outside. Lots of light, lots and lots and lots of light which means that it won't stretch out and I'll show you when uh, summer comes and you'll see how it's like. So what I'm using is my super with my Grady Mix version 2.0 which you can find in the link in the description down below. It does have soil back into its, uh, you know what, no bueno, no bueno, no bueno. It does have soil back into it because I need to keep some moisture. Certain plants where they're bigger needs a lot of water, Not needs a lot of water to for them to flourish and grow and be gigantic like the glibophora hybrids they need a lot of water okay and that's it that's it um that's all that we really do and when when we when a few weeks later we'll get little babies like this from the top here the top here right the top here and that's it that's how you fix it don't be afraid to do stuff right don't be afraid to like break off leaves like oh i just broke up a leaf don't be afraid to break off leaves like that because in the end they're very easy to propagate and a lot of the plants that you have are there you can find them anywhere like in Home Depot and you know the nurseries and all that other stuff uh, when it's more rarer um, hybrid succulents like this one right here then be, be be careful you know Anyways, that is it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and you've learned something. If you have a thumbs up, any questions, leave them down below, share this video too because it is springtime and springtime is currently the best time to do all this stuff because Echeveria has their growth spurt at the moment, okay? And I'll see you guys later. Love ya, bye. Don't forget to subscribe, bye.